It's tarpon time again. Last year I did a tarpon double bunny. I'm going to show you a little bit simpler version this year. This is a single bunny. Um, there's a few differences between the two, but uh, really there isn't a heck of a lot of difference. Um, we're going to start off with some Flymaster Plus. Uh, this is the 140 in red. Uh, this is the Gamakatsu SC15 2H in 3 out. Um, you know, with the trends nowadays, it might be a good idea to step down to a 2 out hook. Uh, they seem to be eating the smaller sizes. But this is basically what we're going to be doing something very similar to. Or, here's a purple. A little, little different, but uh, the colors are going to be black, or I'm sorry, purple and red in this particular instance. Um, the first thing we need to do, since it's a single bunny and not a double bunny, is we need to put a mono loop on the back. Now, this is a piece of uh, 20 pound hard mason. Um, you know, you need some sort of a hard monofilament uh, for this. But what we're going to do is we're going to tie this up on top of the hook. And then I am going to make a loop in the mono in the back. Uh, pretty good sized. Uh, the reason for this is if uh, you don't do this, the rabbit tail will tend to underwrap the hook especially if you're a lousy caster like I am. Uh, throw a tailing loop and it literally loops your tail. Okay, so this is what the mono loop is going to look like. You can see it's just beyond the hook, maybe a quarter of an inch back behind. Now the rabbit hair that I'm using is pretty stout. It's good thick skin um, and it's cut wider than a magnum, a typical magnum that you can buy down at your fly shops. I get this stuff specially cut uh, for me. Um, one of the things that you definitely don't want to do is cut rabbit hair with your scissors. Uh, the reason being if you do you end up cutting some of the hair off. So I tend to use a you know a single edge razor blade. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to tie this with the leather down on top of the hook. I'm going to kind of curl it around. Put a couple of tight wraps around. And then I'm going to come back, and this is where the raised blade comes into play. And I'm going to cut it from the bottom side and cut through the leather, but not the hair. And this is a dull razor blade. Okay. So now we have the tail section. You can see this is, you know, cruising along pretty quickly. Now I'm going to put a little splash of uh, uh, a little bit of uh, crazy glue on it. Just make sure that it all stays in place. I'm going to come forward a little bit and build a little bit of a dam in front of that jam knot that I've done here. Kind of smooth the transition between the hook and that tie-in point. Okay. Now I'm going to add two strands, in this case of red holographic flashaboo in the back. And 
we're just going to take this across the thread actually I've got three strands and we're going to tie it in on top kind of loose and I'm going to spread it so it goes down the side of my purple in the back there and the next step is this is crosscut rabbit rather than the zonker in red I'm going to tie that in back here and back put a couple of thread wraps across it my glue is still a little bit damp so that'll help kind of hold that whole thing together and we're going to come about half the distance up the front of the hook now it's simply just palmering this rabbit collar on here There's one two Three, and I'm going to do a fourth. Okay, unwrap a little bit. I'm going to capture the crosscut leather. Turn this over. Use my scissors that time. Kind of stroke this back a little bit and we're going to start building a head if you want to paint an eye on this you've got to build a pretty decent sized head now I am not going to paint an eye on this so I am going to be kind of expedite this and finish it I've got a good thread base all the way up the front of the hook and I'm going to go ahead and whip finish this. Okay, this little sucker is done primarily. I'm going to trim my flash of boo back just a little bit and typically I turn a whole bunch of tarpon flies all at once with epoxy but in this particular instance I'm going to use the UV stuff it's a little again it's quick it's easy butter up the front end of this with a little bit of epoxy in this particular instance I'm using nail shellac uh, or nail gel I should say with this hit it with some light and we are done like I say this is a tarpon single bunny this is the bread and butter of the tarpon uh, for this area um, next month I'm gonna do an Enrico fiber that, uh, fly that's more designed for late season tarpon uh, in those cases where they're back in uh, little pockets and they show up at the surface and then they go right back down to the bottom you know this is a fly more designed for uh, like December or not December I'm sorry like July in the heat of the summer um, this is more your typical early season fly um, and then I also have another bunny fly that uh, was given to me by 
one of our members and I'll be uh, showing you how to tie that. Anyway, quick and simple tarpon bunny. Thanks.